everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back with another mod pack first look video. Today, we're taking a look at the Pathfinder mod pack. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's made by the Phoenix team, and you can find this mod pack right now on the FTB launcher under the third parties tab. And if you're watching this video right as it goes out, it should be at the very top of the FTB launcher. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna click single player. Before we do, I just want to say I really like this front screen. I like it when mod packs kind of mess around with it a little bit, make it look really cool. I like this. We're going to go single player. We're going to create a new world, much like with some other mod packs, like uh, I guess Material Energy is the best example I can give. There is no world generation. It's a set world. All you have to do is click create new world and then name the world. I'm just going to name it YouTube. And then click enter or click create new world. And it's going to create the exact same world every single time, which is this little space shuttle that we start in. So it is a hardcore questing mod mod pack, which means it does have the quest book here. For whatever reason, when we start off, we can't access most of our inventory, which is a bit of a pain, but not too big of a deal. And if you have a look at here, it says some voyages last forever. Some voyages are lost in the sands of time. Some voyages are destroyed when the fabric of reality tears, but other voyages... Those voyages go down in history, forever remembered. And then there's a bunch of other text. I will leave this here for a quick second if you'd like to pause the video and read all of this stuff here, or you can play it on your own. And then we can click start to begin. So there are a few quests in this mod pack. However, there aren't a ton. Uh, if we look on the front page here, it has, like I said, a few quests. We have, what, nine here? Yeah, nine quests. So not a massive amount of quests, but still quite a few. And all the rest of these are very similar. There are not a ton. But they were kind of enough to get your feet wet and, and get things started with the mod pack. I'm not quite sure if these actually have any. I didn't manage to unlock any quests in these last two sections. So I have no idea uh, if there actually are any quests in there yet. If it's not quite finished. I don't know. I think there might be. I might just have not done the right stuff to unlock them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this mod pack. So it focuses heavily on tech and adventure. And it kind of hinges on this mod here. The RF Tools mod. Uh, which I did play around with recently in my uh, FTB Infinity series. And basically uh, the best way i can describe the mechanics that it uses is it's kind of like a technological miscraft and basically what you do is you generate dimensions and then travel from this little spaceship because if we were to look outside this is we're in the middle of nowhere we are just flying floating around in the absolute middle of nowhere there is nothing else in this dimension at all look at this just, just nothingness forever and ever and ever so we have to generate new dimensions and then travel to those dimensions to get some stuff now if we open the quest book and we'll go to the first quest line voyager let's see the first quest alert is called dauntless the quiet hum of the generators awake you they awake you with a revelation you stand up and rush to the back of your ship nearly tripping over the teleport pads today is day 315 aboard the USSS pathfinder and then there's a bunch of more text here. I'm not going to read all of this storyline stuff. You can read it if you want. It's very well detailed. It's quite cool. But uh, the first quest is to gather an effect non-dimlet, a terrain normal dimlet, and a material non-dimlet. All of these can be found over in here. These little tiny little cabinets. We're going to go ahead and grab all those. And we start with a little hardened strong box. Uh, I would recommend clicking this button here because it kind of organizes it all. There are multiple things that were just spread out and made it really awkward. Just doing this makes it a lot easier to see everything. We have some food, some charcoal, and... Uh, some torches and for those who don't know how the rf tools mod works these dimlets are kind of like um specifications for the world you're going to make so uh, for example the effect non-dimlet will probably make sure that there is no effect when you go to the new dimension for instance some uh, some edges that you go to will have like slowness weakness haste some are good some are bad uh, but i'm assuming the effect non dimmer actually gets rid of all of those entirely and it costs one redstone flux to maintain and a 2000 redstone flux to create so these worlds do require a constant supply of redstone flux to keep them going however over here you are given a creative dimension builder which i think has unlimited redstone flux. So I don't really think you have to worry about that, uh, at least to begin with anyway. So we completed that. The next section of the quest is to get an empty dimension tab. And this thing I think is got by just right clicking on this here, this dimension, uh, this tabular creation matrix. If you just right click, uh, as I'm, because I'm holding the quest book, it's not really working, but just right clicking gives us a bunch of these and uh, we've got eight there now. <laughs> I think uh, eight is the maximum we can hold in our inventory there in that one slot. But now we've got that, we can go ahead and claim our rewards. So I'm going to put these in here for now claim our reward which gets us the rf tools at dimension manual and if you've never played with rf tools before this is a great place to get started because it tells you everything that you need to know about rf tools which is pretty flipping handy like i said especially if you haven't played with the mod before now and then the next quest which is this one over here called yamato wants us to make a realized dimension tab and the way we make that 
is by taking one of these and sticking it over here in the dimension inscriber. Now, basically, this is where we're going to make our dimension. And here is where you put the dimension tab. And then up in this box is where we put all of the dimlets that we want to specify. So let's go ahead and take, I guess, terrain normal, uh, material non, and effect non. I'm not quite sure what material non is going to do. Um, hopefully it's not going to do anything bad, but we'll go ahead and we'll throw all three of these in here like so, and we'll click star. Let me just quickly check that that's what it wants us to do. In order to create your dimension, you'll need to place your dimlets within the tab in the dimension inscriber. Place the empty dimension tab in the slot in the lower left, then place the effects non tab in the slot to the top. Uh, as there is, n as there is a sort of grammar with this, what? As there is a sort of grammar with this, in order to create a world that is somewhat like home, you'll need to make sure no special types of material affect the terrain. So place the materials non-dimlet. Okay, so yeah, it wants us to place all of these into here and then stop. And that gets us a realized dimension tab. Again, this time it's actually a full dimension with all of those dimlets stored within it. And then after that, we just have to make our way to the creative dimension builder. I think the quest is just to get over here, but the assumption is that you're going to put that in there and that's going to instantly create the world. Like I said, if it wasn't a creative one, it does require a ton of redstone flux, but it's creative. So we need to do that, claim a reward. And of course we do have the reward bags as well as a little bit of food, which is always nice. We got ourselves a wooden big X head. Nice, probably going to come in handy when we get to our new dimension and then we have unlocked another quest line venture now this one says uh, this one's basically teaching us how to use the dialing device and the matter transmitter and the way that this works is the dialing device allows us to tell which um okay let's let's try to explain this uh, in a normal way there's the matter transmitter and the matter receiver and basically these are like teleport pads and in the dialing device we can tell this uh, matter transmitter where to go which matter receiver to connect to so for instance if i was to connect the matter transmitter to at the pathfinder receiver and click dial you would see the light light up and if i walked onto it it would just teleport me over here so what we did there is we told using the dialing device which i think can access every receiver and transmitter like in the cosmos i guess and basically what it's done is it's told this device here to teleport you to this device now if we wanted to we can go ahead and tell this device to teleport us to id4 and click dial and id4 is the dimension that we've just made you can see there it says name in red id4 and if we were to walk through now we would end up in our new dimension now before we go i would like to check i <laughs> know the quests to be completed i don't think there are hopefully uh, there is the next quest is from nothing. I think we get that as soon as we arrive in the new dimension. I'm not actually quite sure if we have Ex Nihilo uh, in the mod pack. Let's have a look. Mods and then X. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't have Ex Nihilo. The, mods the, the quest just called Ex Nihilo because Ex Nihilo, uh, I believe in Latin, does mean from nothing. I kind of want you to go away, please. Just uh, click any I subsets again. That should uh, go away. There we go, that's fine. Uh, and then this guy over here, the final thing that we have is the Dimlet Researcher. And this basically tells you what these Dimlets are. So if I was to take these, uh, this unknown Dimlet here and put it in the Dimlet Researcher, it's going to go ahead and tell me this is a feature or gen dimlet. And basically, you can go ahead and make a bunch of these and specify some pretty unique worlds, if you so wish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just take some stuff that I think might be useful. I think a torch is going to be useful. Probably not going to need all these quest books, so I'll kind of just get rid of most of those. Uh, we'll take some seeds. They're probably definitely going to be useful. Um, I'll take the sterling generator as well. As for everything else, I think we can probably leave it up here. Cobblestone shouldn't be, a big of, uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal once we get down to uh, our new dimension. And I think, I guess, we're just going to go. Now, do bear in mind, I'm fairly certain that as soon as we get there, we can't get back without quite a bit of work being done beforehand. So, yeah, kind of just bear that in mind and uh, choose wisely with what you take with you. But, whoosh, as it says in the chat, we should. It's like we're in a desert according to the map. We're here. Look at this. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but every world that I've been to so far is incredibly dark. Like, really, really, really dark. And I do have my brightness up to bright right here, but there is just a ton of darkness. Now, no idea why this is. The good news is that, like I said earlier, it is all peaceful, so there's absolutely nothing here that can kill you in the dark. But you can see why I kind of brought my torches along with me. And that's kind of it. There is no way to get back home now. Uh, we have another receiver here. What we have to do, I think, to get back is make ourselves another receiver. Uh, it helps if you can spell the word receiver. Uh, we need to get ourselves... Oh, no, we don't. We need a transmitter. 
My apologies, transmitter. We need another one of these. And then to make this, we need to kill some ender uh, to, to kill some endermen, get some ender pearls, make a machine frame, which is lapis, iron, and gold. Get ourselves some more iron, get some redstone. Not extremely hard, but not extremely easy either. And these things do require power, so we do need that as well. We I don't think we could have taken the energy cell that was there with us, so I guess this was the best we could do. And if we open the quest, I think we've completed the quest from nothing, so we can go ahead and claim a reward for that. I know at some point we do unlock these uh, these slots here. It might be now. Nope, <laughs> we haven't logged those yet. These things are just all on the floor. Let's go ahead and just drop something for now while I open this bag. We got a structure non dimlet and another structure non dimlet Really? Really? We got two of the same? Wow. Okay. Uh, well, they're all over the floor. Um... Let's, we don't need the food yet, but I kind of like to be able to use my inventory. Uh, and I don't really see any trees nearby either, which is not the best. Oh, there's a, there's a building over there. Um, oh, okay, I'll, I'll drop the, with this quest book and take the apples. Uh, let's have a quick look here. I'm pretty sure we do unlock this at some point. We've now unlocked Odyssey. And to complete this, we need to make a part builder, a stencil table, and a tool station. So we do have Tinker's Construct, and we do need to do it to get started with. But I guess we, should we just head over this way? I can kind of see some trees out there in the distance. It is very, very, very dark. Like, I, I'm sorry on YouTube, guys. This is going to be really, really, really dark. Uh, let's put, like, a torch down there. And then, like, I guess we could kind of shimmy. If we put, like, a torch down there, come back, pick this one up, and just kind of edge forward. It might take us a bit longer. We do feel like, I feel like we have slowness, but we're not actually moving that much slower than usual. Did I get that? I didn't. It's there. I'm wondering what this building is. <laughs> we do have random structures generated in pretty much every uh, every world that you go to. And I don't think it's guaranteed that when you generate a world, that it's going to be the exact same as the one that I've got here. Uh, you may spawn in like a jungle or in some kind of other world. I think it's completely random as to where you spawn. Got some cactus. And it looks like we're about to move into a different biome over here, which is pretty nice. Uh, this one looks like it has trees, which is definitely going to help when it comes to the Tinker stuff. Now, <laughs> unfortunately... It looks like the moon's not moving, which is not the best thing in the world, because I think that means that we have eternal darkness uh, in the world that we're on, which, like I said earlier, not a good thing, uh, which means I think it might be dark forever until we get a ton of torches. Probably should have brought some coal with us so we could make uh, some more torches, but this is fine. This is fine. We're coming up on in this building. Oh, look at that. We got some... Oh, pink stained clay. We've got these giant balls of, of, of stained clay here. I think I saw one uh, over the distance over there. So that's another thing I get. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're going to... Okay, I can see it. I can see where we're going. I'm just going to head in this way and see what's here. I think this may contain some more dimlets that we can use. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what we got. Got a little building that we can't really get into. We got a crafting table and a bed. I like it. I'm going to try and sleep in the bed. That'll tell us for sure if we have eternal darkness. Come on, let me in. There we go. All right. Can we oh, my God. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, okay. There was a foot door all along. Uh, I think that was a trap. That was mean. That was really, really, really mean. Um, Wow. Just... Wow, <laughs> that is horrible. Um, okay, well, that was fun. Let's uh, let's move over here, get this tree, and get started on some tinkers. Here we go. We're gonna get. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get something done. Here we go. Uh, we should probably go get some more torches as well in a second. All right, let's see what we can do. We got a sterling generator, I guess, which is is half the fun. Um, is it a sterling generator? It is. I think we could probably put this down and use it for some light, but I'm not really going to. That's kind of pointless. Let's make ourselves a crafting station. Here we go. Boom. Boom, crafted again, crafting station, and then let's just stick you down there. And if we go ahead and grab a bit more wood, we should be able to make our first set of Tinker's tools. Okay, so I've cut down this tree. On the bright side, the moon is going, so daytime is dawning, which is good news. I'm so glad that it's not eternal darkness. That would have been horrible. And what do we need? Let's have a look in the quest book again. We need a pattern, a part builder, a stencil table, and a tool station. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in tinkers. Like that. And we need the tool station. First of all, we're going to need a bunch of blank patterns. So we're going to have to do something like this. Grab a bunch of sticks and make ourselves some blank patterns. Kind of like so. 
like that. We only need four. Uh, don't really need the rest of these. I'm just going to drop them on the floor for the time being. And then one of them, we can make like that. That gets us a part builder. That gets us a stencil table. And then finally, we needed one, which I think requires a crafting table. Let's give it a try. Do something like this. Stick you. And again, let's drop some more stuff on the floor. We'll get back to what we want eventually. Over there. <laughs> My gosh, this inventory thing's really annoying, actually. Uh, that gets us a tool station. Look at that. Nice. And then if we go in here, we've completed the book. So, the next thing we need is a wooden tool rod and a wooden binding. These should be fairly easy. We're going to need to put down the tool station, the stencil table, and not you. You, this guy. So, the stencil table is where we're going to put in our patterns. If we can get it, there we go. Throw you in there and select a binding. And then we can go ahead and make a wooden binding in the part builder. Throw you in there. Do something like that. Gets us a wooden binding. And then finally, we need that wooden tool rod. For now, I'm going to store stuff inside here. Actually, we can make a chest. Let's let's make a chest. Here we go. And let's start storing stuff away. Because my gosh, this is this is horrible trying to throw everything on the floor. Don't need you. You, 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 or you just yet. And then let's pick everything else up. I don't need the seeds. I don't need the book. We could make our way back to get some apples at some point, but I'm not going to do that just yet. And instead, what I'm going to do is we're going to take you back. We're going to make another blank pattern uh, using the wood that we have. Like so. And then all we need is a tool rod. So we'll go ahead and select tool rod, take you. And then we should be able to make this just using the leftover wood that we had from before. Get to the tool rod. And that should be it. It is. Nice. Okay, then we need tools of the trade. It wants us to make the pickaxe. We can do that in the tool station. Select pickaxe and go boom, boom, and boom. Nice. There we go. And that gets us another reward bag and some bread. It is a basic reward bag, and it contains a compressed cobblestone. Lovely. So we got nine cobblestone. That is like the best reward I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and that unlocked the Cortez uh, section of the quest book, which wants us to make a matter transmitter and a dialing device. So with our trusty pickaxe in hand, you are now able to head back home to the Pathfinder. All you need to do is construct the transmitter and dialing device as the receiver is already here. And uh, as well, uh, we'll need a power source. W -w -w -w. There are many available within the... Within the there's, many, there's many available. We can do a few. We have the Sterling Generator, so we can go ahead and use this. So, if we wanted to progress from here on, we would need a dialing device and a matter transmitter. Dialing device requires a bunch of redstone, a machine frame, and just more redstone. So, I guess from here on out, guys, the best thing we could do is... It's kind of... It, it turns into Minecraft at this point. We have to go down now and start mining for some stuff. So, we've also gone ahead and unlocked a few more quests under the uh, Bellow phone. I think that's right. Bellowathon? Someone's probably having a go at me now for pronouncing that wrong, but hey, uh, we've unlocked a couple of quests under here, including the Hurrah quest, which wants us to get an iron, and this one down here, the Berkeley? Berkeley? I apologize for my pronunciation, which wants us A, to get seeds, which we have, and then B, to do fields, which requires a wooden mattock. Uh, let's have a look. What's the wooden mattock made of? It is made... It's a mob drop? Really? Really, really? Well, I didn't quite know that, but I think with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. It's been a bit of a short one, and we didn't really get too far into this mod pack, but the main reason why is because it's completely random what's going to happen from here on out. The, the next set of quests are kind of just traditional kind of tech stuff. We have Endryo and Thermal Expansion, as well as simply jetpacks over here and all this kind of quest line with a bit of farming along the bottom there. I know we have mods like Equivalent Exchange 3 in and a couple of other mods as well. We haven't unlocked anything in any of the other quest lines as of yet, and really this mod pack Oh, look at that. We've got like a, a pillow over there of, uh, of, of ours. I'll go take a look. Um, really, this mod pack's for those who enjoy playing around with a little bit of tech, but really like the exploration, like exploring new worlds, finding new stuff, and just seeing what Minecraft has to offer. Personally, not really my kind of mod pack, not one that I'm probably going to do a series on, but uh, if that's your kind of mod pack and you kind of like the sound of that, it is on the Feed the Beast launcher under the third party's tab, and it looks like it's pretty cool if you're into that kind of thing. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please hit like, and I will see you next time.